Hey guys, in this video we're going to be taking a look at Death Road on the PC. I believe it's also being released on the consoles. Um, I was supposed to be bringing you guys uh, the second and maybe even possibly third part of yesterday's playthrough. However, something happened with the files and recording and because yesterday auto saves, it meant that I basically have to restart the game again. So, you know, sad face on that. However, I will continue as I actually know roughly what to do on some parts now, up to a certain point, obviously. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, let's get on with yesterday. So, we're going to have a quick look at the options, as always, with PC gaming. Uh, we've got various sound level options, not in particular. Resolution options, I'm running at 720p just because, well, that's just what I'm capturing in, so it makes sense. Controllers, uh, I'm using an Xbox 360 controller for this, just because. Um, it doesn't actually mention what the bindings are, as far as I can see. Oh, well, there we go. Gamepad left. Oh, I see. So you can actually do it like this. Fair enough. Let's see if that does work. Uh, acceleration. I think it probably makes sense to have it as. I don't know, this one. Um, that one. Boost, 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 boost. What can we have to boost? Um, I kind of like the idea of uh, A being boost, I suppose. Primary fire. Um, I'll have that as gamepad X. Plant mine. Why, why not? Um, this one could be that. And change view could be that. So, pretty standard game layout, okay? So, let's just make sure that I did save. Excellent. Right, gameplay, uh, game speed. Okay, fair enough. Don't know much about this game, if I'm honest. I just grabbed it and, you know, let's go. Um, I figure, since I want to jump in a little bit, I think a quick race will be good. Let's enter continuous, press print A and see if that does the same job. Okay, first impressions is it looks a little bit like Wipeout, as most games tend to do in this kind of scenario. Ah, oh, there we are. So, have overview. One is status info, two is the indicator, and three is the meters. Okay, so they're part of your ship. Meters and indicators close up. Holy crap, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, Plane indicator, actual position. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm not accelerating, which is... Oh, there we are. Okay, I don't have weapons yet. Whoa! It turns really sharply. Okay, I have no weapons or anything yet. Uh, frame rate's solid at 60. Not a bad sense of momentum so far. Let's see, the primary weapon now. Okay, so I have a weapon. It doesn't sound that meaty, to be honest. The sound was a little bit far down. Let's see. Okay. I can't actually remember what boost is. I think it's. Is it? I think I had it assigned to. There we are. Um, let's see. I'm not doing terribly well. Kind of nice laser, also. Though. Uh, graphics are not bad. I mean, it's not beautiful or anything. It's, it's certainly what you'd expect. I'd say maybe... I would say it's probably one of the closest games you can get um, on the PC for Wipeout. However, there was another game that's actually free, which I'm also covered. I can't remember the name of or can, however, unfortunately. Um, that was actually pretty good as well. It was a little bit different from this, as you can actually... Um, even use wings in it and the car can fly for a certain amount of um, distance once you're basically taken off. Oh, the name actually eludes me. I, I wasn't the one who covered it, I'm afraid. However, this game's not bad. I mean, I'm kind of 
I'm not disliking it, but I'm certainly not loving it. Maybe it's just the track. At least we still have the boost. Which does help. I do quite like the boost effect, however, of the screen. It's quite nice. Not exactly a very long boost. I'm not sure if that's... Okay, I see. Probably not going too well because I'm missing quite a lot of these power-ups as obviously I'm not aware of their positioning yet. And also a strand of hair decided to lodge in front of my face and eye, which is not doing ideal. Owie. Okay. It's quite nice actually if you can look behind you. Uh, I'm not quite sure. How I feel about the game, to be honest. I mean, it's not bad, it's just not amazing so far. Although it's, you know, only one track, so I don't want to. Oops! I'm bumping into everything, that's not what you want. I believe. We can activate some turbo. Oops, missed that, and that, which was not good deal. I'm not quite sure about the range of the weapons. So far, my major complaint with the game is the weapons, well, the one or two, the two or three maybe that I've used, I think maybe two, I've used, don't seem to have much impact to them, even though the sound effects is a little bit down, but still, I expect it to be more than PPQ. Oh, no. Okay. Let's go with skip tutorial. Let's have a look. So, is that it? Is there no... Oh, I see. All the leaves are locked. Huh. Interesting. Rookie pilot... Veteran and Elite. I'm not sure if it's just me, but that sounds somewhat like a lightsaber. Um, get first place, get third or second. Okay, so... We are unable to access any of these, which are of course infinitely better than the POS that I'm given. Okay. Stays also meant to be locked on, okay. Ah, this looks a bit better. Okay, let's try boosting at the start. Ah, uh, oops. Right, ow, someone's shooting me, which is not very friendly. Huh. Okay, this is a bit more mad. Ooh, bollocks. I'm assuming the crack windshield is possibly because I'm getting shot or something or another. Ow, ow, ow. Now, I want like to point out I am not a great wipeout player. Um, I used to play it back primarily in the days of Oops. Um, primarily in the days of like the Sega Saturn and PlayStation 1. It was actually on, of course, the Saturn as well. Um, I think two versions were. But anyway, I'm getting well. Ow, ow. Um, I'm not really doing well here. However, there was something about Wipeout which, um, despite the fact I'm not a particularly major uh, racing fan by any means, um, Gran Turismo was probably the only other racing game I really liked. Um, uh, just, that's possibly a lie. Maybe Sega Touring Car. And possibly Sega Rally. Anyway, I'm, you know, uh, you know, not really talking much sense here. However, um, I'm not the biggest racing fan ever, but futuristic racing games such as Wipeout are not bad. Generally, I have a no deal. Um, I have a okay time with them. However, I'm not really enjoying this that much. I mean, I'm not disliking it, if that makes sense. But I'm not also loving it. 
Um, I have a few issues actually with the game, and maybe one or two of them can be resolved. Let's have a quick look to see. No, I can't actually access the menu. The first is I don't particularly like the HUD where it is. I feel it's a bit of a pain in the butt. Oh, I managed to unlock noob, thank you. Oh, that's great. Um, let's try it one more time. Maybe get one or two more races out of this sucker. Might be able to unlock a new mission after that. Um, one of the major problems I have is I don't particularly like the HUD being where it is. And I'm also... I don't feel that the sense of speed is particularly bad, per se. Um, and it is quite nice that you can actually see the opponent's health. Um, that's quite nice, actually. That's quite a nice touch. But, oh dear. I'm also missing quite a lot of these jumps as well, which is probably not really helping my uh, cause. And also, they seem to feel the need to shoot me from behind, which is... I'm not quite sure what happened there. I looked like I was hunting it, which is kind of ironic, considering what I was just saying moments ago. Anyway, um... I don't feel the sense of speed is particularly bad. I mean, obviously, I'm assuming you can cramp the game up more, because in the options menu it did say it was, um, I believe, only medium. So, obviously, that hits it higher than medium. I will check that for you guys, though. Um, but... What I will say is that I'm not, I don't really have any sense of momentum. Um, I don't particularly like the way the ship's handled. Maybe it's just this particular ship. Um, but it doesn't feel as smooth as Wipeout, which is understandable. Obviously, there's a slight difference in production quality. You know? But um, as someone who's played quite a lot of Wipeout, or not quite a lot, but you know, a fair amount, if you're expecting Wipeout on the PC, you know, it's not bad, but it's not exactly what um, I was hoping for, to be honest. The weapons, well, I don't know how many there are. There's probably a lot more than what I'm seeing at the moment. There's only uh, two, I believe, at the moment I'm currently using. Ah, at least we've got different views. Let's see the pod racer one. It looks very pod racer from episode one, I think. Although the inside view is really not helpful for some reason, it looks a bit wider than it should. Maybe that's just me. Anyway, um, oh, I got a warm up apparently. I did slightly better that time around. That's that's pretty cool. Ah, I can t continue this time. Excellent. Be careful. Okay. Alright, that works out quite nicely because that means I can go to the options and maybe tie turning up speed a little bit. Uh, oh, game set game speed. No. This is the difficulty. That's not like speed to me. Huh. Alright, let's try it hard. See if it actually is and they just indicate that. Faster is harder, which I assume, which I suppose it is in some ways. Okay, uh, this looks a pretty cool level. Let's try this one. Use weapons to destroy opponents and win races. Fair enough. Uh, none of these are still open, so I'm still stuck with the same weapon, which is a shame. It's a slow ass vehicle if you compare it to say that one, but nevertheless, I will endure. Possibly, depending if I got blowed up or not. At least the loading times are nice and quick. I do like that. Ooh, I do quite like the rain effects. Nice. And the neon signs do look very cool as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just skip that. I'm sure it's all pretty. I have my eye on the boost in front of me. Which someone else stole. Because obviously I'm just set with like the back, which is another thing that really irritates me in racing games. But, oh dear. Anywho, um. So I'm not sure how long now. Ah, thank you. It's a speedy thing. I do quite like this map actually, it's quite nice. The music's not my cup of tea precisely. Um, but it's not offensive, it's not bad. 
I'm sure there's some people that will absolutely love the music, and I'm sure there's equal amounts that will hate the music. I'm, it's not my type of thing, but it doesn't particularly offend me. Uh, that offends me, however. I do quite like this map, it's definitely more interesting visually than the previous one. Um, several years ago, for example, if we were talking about early Xbox One, uh, sorry, Xbox 360, this would have looked amazing, now it looks pretty good. Um, I'm not quite sure how the game looks on consoles, I'm pretty sure it is being used on consoles. So you'll have to do your own comparisons, I'm afraid, perhaps there'll be a demo on the PSN or Xbox Live Arcade or something. PC, I can tell you there's no graphics options, at least as far as I've seen, maybe I missed it, uh, so this is pretty much how you get it. Runs of course fairly well on my system, I'm not having any frame rate drops or what have you. Uh, yeah, average. I'm apparently allowed to continue, I think I'll do one final race. I have unlocked a new map and also faster than first, whatever that means. That was the one I was just on. Easy way, be careful, faster than first. Okay. At least you don't have to continuously. Ah, oh, I see. So I need a certain amount of points to get those. Oh, I see, fair enough. At least that makes sense. I didn't notice that before. Do not underestimate the power of the PlayStation. If anyone remembers that marketing campaign. Huh. My forever alone on this track. That seems like it. does get me the opportunity to boost at a really nice speed without running the risk of crashing into something, such as say that wall. Uh, assuming you can pick up health and so on. Owie, owie. I really do not like the HUD actually in the position it is. Uh, maybe I'll get used to it after a certain amount of time. It's also quite annoying that you have to reload the game. I really hate that. Um, anyway, I'm going to pause it. I feel that you've seen it. So, my thoughts are, um, I've only spent maybe, you know, 20 minutes on this. Um, I don't feel it's my type of game. I feel there are better examples out there. And I'll try to remember what that game is on uh, that, Am that Amata covered. Um, or maybe I'll have her tell you guys. Um, that is kind of similar to this, although I don't think they had weapons. But anyway, this is probably one of the closer games you can get for um, the PC, which resembles Wipeout. I don't think they quite nailed it. Uh, the main complaints I do have are the heads up display being at basically your ass end. That I don't particularly like. Um, I also don't particularly like the weapons. I don't feel, think they sound meaty. Sure, some of the weapons in, say, Wipeout weren't the greatest in sound. I mean, for example, the machine gun. But it still sounded, you know, a bit better than Pew Pew Pew. It sounded, you know, like a, a reasonable thing. It sounded like, you know, you're actually going to hurt someone. Um, and, of course, some of the weapons in that, such as Quake Distributor and uh, whatever, you know, you winced when you heard someone pick that sucker up. Anyway, um, I don't feel that the game bad. I don't think that it's um, my particular type of um, flavoured tea, shall I call it. It's not bad. It's not great, though. Um, would I recommend it to you guys? If you're really into Wipeout, or you're really desperate for this type of game, then you know, check it out. If you were just into a casual racing game, I'd probably wait until it's on sale, if I'm honest. That's just my opinion, um, and I haven't got that far into the game, so perhaps I'm being a bit unduly fair, maybe there's, you know, nuclear weapons that are unlocked later on, I'm not sure, so if someone does get further or does already own the game, and, you know, I'm talking out my butt, and, you know, the weapon's doing vastly improve, or, you know, I'm missing some points, 
please do comment below and I'll amend my video annotation or something and point your comment out. Anyway, with that all said, um, hopefully I'll be back tomorrow and I can do a yesterday video if that made any sense. Um, so, with that all said, take care guys. I will see you soon hopefully and bye for now.